Hello everybody. Well, it's me again. Welcome to another video of mine. Today we're working on a Yaesu 757GX. We're not extensively modifying it, but we're doing some mods to improve it. Um, ALC mods. Receive a pre-amplifier mod for the broadcast band. Because by default that doesn't function on broadcast. Um, once we do the ALC mod, we're going to lose pop control of our output power. So we got to regain control of that, which is a simple little fix. But um, here we go with taking a look at the radio in its present condition. <laughs> Yes, it's not a junk radio, it's just extensively tore down so I can get to the bottom of this board right in here so I can do some work. But, let's get to what we were talking about. Alright, if you own a 757GX and uh, you want the broadcast band, you want your receive amp to function on broadcast band. The simple fix is uh, snip that diode right there. The diode. Just snip that diode, and the receive amp works on broadcast band. All right, for ALC, automatic level control or linear control. You know, which uh, usually prevents the radio from talking at its full power without yelling at it. You know, you gotta really yell into them to get full power. So, I'm not just changing the ALC level, I've totally defeated it. Okay, switch hands here. Uh, the back, near your forward reverse switch for your S meter, you got your VR for setting your uh, meter, your RF meter. Well, just behind that, you're going to find this jack right here. 40, uh, 14. Pull it. Pull the orange wire out of it. Okay. That's your ALC level control right there. Once you do that, then you plug it back in, and you'll be golden. But, the problem there, yeah, you'll have all kinds of power, She'll do upwards of 100 and... She'll go well over 100 watts. I'm going to just leave it at that. But, um... Now you have no control over output power. So... Now, the next change... Is we need to take this RF power control... Because you do have control over... CW power, AM power, and FM power. But how these radios are designed, there's no control over the sideband power. Which really sucks if you're going to drive it into an amp. So, we want total control of power. No problem. Easy fix. We take this power control right here, which is usually plugged in way over here. Okay. Which is that plug right there. My camera focuses. Plug 26. You unplug it. Okay, and I just put a dummy jumper on there for now. I'm just going to solder the two pins on the plug inside when I get done. Okay, we slip our wires out of the plug, out of that plug right there. And then we locate that VR right there. That is your main service power level control. That's... All bands, all modes, total control of output power, right there. So what we're going to do, is we're going to take this line. The purple line is the center wiper. The hot one is uh, shunting power, or gain power. And then, of course, ground, which that pot right there automatically already is grounded. So we just need to remove this pot right there and 
strip these wires down, solder the purple where the center one is, and the blue one on that side, and we got total system power control. Then plug in a billion wires and remount our board. Yeah, it's the only thing about a small radio is when you want to take it apart, especially the older technology, no surface mount. There is no surface mount in this radio, which I love this. Easy to work on, easy to replace anything in this radio. You don't need a microscope and all this other crap to do it. But, uh, being that it's a fairly small radio for an HF radio, it's a lot to pack in a little box. So, everything gets zip-tied and everything back up. And, uh, it, it, believe it or not, will all fit in the box, but it's a real tight fit. So, alright, there's part one of the video. Um, I'm gonna shut my yap, get this little job done here, mount this board back in, and, uh, see what kind of power testing we can do. Maybe I'll do a video on that, I don't know. Six minutes, 22 seconds so far, so. All right, I'm going to cut this video and get my butt back to work. See ya. All right, we're back, people. Well, we got the, uh, we removed the VR there. The blank spot there in front of my thumb now. And we've got our VR from the front of the radio now wired into place of it. So... That's golden now. There's the VR right there. What look? Well, it's in good shape yet. Just have no need for it. So it'll go in the parts bin. But uh, now I gotta reassemble the radio and start zip tying wires back up. Well, not total reassembly of the radio, but at least get this board back in. Alright, enough yapping for now. I'll be back. Alright, next step. We got the board all remounted. Zip ties back on our lines. You gotta leave a little slack because to work to service the radio, the face slides in and out about two inches. So there's some that you can't put zip ties on, like this mess. You probably could, but it's not recommended. Um, they tuck up under the face anyway, so when it goes together. But there it is, all nice and pretty. Minus that uh, one VR right there. But that one VR is now this control. So, our ALC lines all plugged back in, meter lines all in, RF lines, low one, two, and three. Uh, everything's golden. All you need to do is hit the juice, Bruce. So, let's do it. Power supply on. Okay, she didn't smoke. Forgot. I gotta put my mic connect my mic on. I'll be back. Well, here we are, people. Welcome to the next section segment of this video. Radio is not all together. I just uh, took a quick break, grabbed something to munch on, and I'm back. Now we're gonna do some power tests, power control tests. We will select lower sideband, full power, and. Audio. And we turn it down audio to about a watt. Hello. About a watt and a half. Which isn't bad. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And I don't need to yell. Audio. Audio. Hello. So. That was sideband. Let's go CW. Start with low. Okay, that's our low power CW. I can turn it up and down. Yeah, 
complete control over my sideband power now. Um, there's CW and sideband. There's AM power. And you can see we got total control of that. So AM's working. And FM. FM has got total control of power. I can drive any amplifier or runner barefoot. Slip lower again. Yellow. Let's back the power down here. Yellow. Uh, yellow. Yellow. Radio, radio. Hello. Oh yeah, that'd drive an amplifier beautifully. Alright, well, let me take the camera off the tripod here. Zoom this back out. So there you go. That's so far. We got this now wired up to our total power control over the, on the system. Which, obviously, as I said, was that VR back there. Right there. We got uh, everything all plugged in, good to go, at least on this side. I'll put the bottom back on it. Get to the top side, hook the speaker back up, put the RF shields back on. Uh, I got a lot of work to do yet. I might add one more zip tie right here, I don't know. Actually, no, I shouldn't because when I had this slid out, these were stretched independently. So I'm going to leave them unzipped. I got enough zip ties on it to keep it in order. Looks halfway decent. So, there we go on the bottom side. Till we get back to the top side. See ya. Update. Here's the top side. Still got to put our RF shield on here. And bundle wires up. Keep them out of the way. Some of these wires got to come out the top. So when this folds back over. Ah, oh, what a nightmare working on these little bitty radios. And yes, there's a plug over here, but that goes to the speaker. Which doesn't get plugged in until the top flops back over. But, uh, yep. She's golden. So we got, uh, do a little bit with her yet, but uh, I'm pretty damn happy with it. Pretty damned happy. Had changed battery. Battery was bad. Every time you started it up, it'd be like 7.0 right across the board every time. So that took care of that shit. All right, enough of that. Off to the next video.